Hey Matt, I would stop. Hey all you people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I've been trickle charging this 2006 Honda Pilot behind me because you know what we're gonna be doing? We are gonna be getting this back up and running today. Some of you might remember this Honda Pilot from my channel last year that we were trying to fix some of the ongoing issues with this car. It was on the brink of being scrapped. And since then, it's turned into a yard piece or driveway piece uh, and kind of a shed. <laughs> Last time it was on the channel, it was misfiring all over the place. So I had seafoamed the engine, taken off the valve cover, tried cleaning some of the ports and passageways, and uh, we also changed out the spark plugs and ignition coils. But that didn't seem to do too much. And when I put this up on the jack stands, it also appeared that the four wheel drive wasn't working properly. So I put out that video on YouTube, asking what people thought was wrong with this pilot. Yeah, there's a variety of comments, a lot of people's opinions of what could be wrong with this, and they're probably all correct. There's everything wrong with this right now. But the two things I decided to tackle first were the EGR valve, very easy to replace. I bought that online. It was probably about $80. And that's uh, an exhaust gas recirculation valve. Um, and that can get old and brittle and get clogged up. So that's a common issue on these 3.5 liters. Another one is the, the rear differential oil temp sensor. This temperature sensor should, uh, according to YouTube, fix that four wheel drive issue with the uh, rear differential. I haven't installed that yet, but first we're gonna see if this cranks over properly and then we can just pull it out of the driveway here and over into hours. There's a couple other things that viewers on my channel thought was wrong with this. A couple people thought it could be the injectors. Someone said that it could be the VTEC solenoid. There's like an oil screen there and it could be clogged up. Another person said, because there's such a massive exhaust leak on this car, there's literally no exhaust. <laughs> that it could have uh, burnt the valves in here, leading to a compression leak. With exhaust leaks, um, sometimes your engine can run really lean. And it could just be a combination of all these things. The mass airflow sensor could be bad. Right now, this intake boot is pretty crap. And the O2 sensors, I don't know, they're probably scorched. But overall, I think the ECU is just getting a lot of mixed signals as to what, what the air to fuel ratio should be. Oh, also, the valves need adjusting on these engines every like 30 to 70,000 miles. Eric the car guy has a good video on how to do that. So I'm gonna look into adjusting the valves. All right. And last time I drove this thing, uh, the wheel was cocked like a quarter turn and it was going straight. So I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the alignment. I believe this was from hitting a guardrail on the way back from North Carolina. Rejected sticker, 2016. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, golf club, Darth Vader, spark plugs, just an absolute assortment of things. A lot of golf stuff. Road trip, Mad Libs. <laughs> the mirror is broken, so this is holding it in place. It also kind of smells like there could be a bit of a water leak in here. I was researching that, and yeah, I think that's water leaking in. It could be through the sunroof here. All right, so I'm just gonna try and see if the electrical system works here. <laughs> We have nothing. God, I tried this yesterday when I plugged in the trickle charger and it kind of flickered. This thing is a piece of work. My friend Dan should be arriving any minute. He'll bring it over to my property, put it up on the jack stands and see what else is wrong underneath. There he is. What's up stud? Hey Dan. How are you doing? I know you called me a stud, but uh, what do you think of the Honda Pilot? Even studier? Yeah. <laughs> First things first, we might actually have to go get a battery. If the trickle is not working and you try jumping it, still nothing. Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Hot Wheels just came out with an 06 GTO Hot Wheels and I've been looking everywhere for it and I can't find it. Hey, we got a light! Nice! You ready for this? Let's do it. That'd make a sick beat, huh? Because it sounds like it does want to turn. There's the flashing key light in here. Oh. Maybe that's like an immobilizer? That could be. That very well could be an immobilizer. I think that actually is an immobilizer. Owner recommended is that we cut into this key and take out the chip. Okay. And that could do it. This is aftermarket key. If the immobilizer light is flashing on the dash, that's why it's not starting. I, I learned that in uh, in Florida when 
Hoovy tried to start his Ferrari. <laughs> We might have to dig the chip out of this. I don't know. I don't think we have an option. I don't think we have an option. Here, do you want, I can hold the key, you want to drill? Yeah, right. Oh, you, you cut into me without putting any cutting fluid on there. Oh God, I'm so Dude. sorry. Dude, I think you've got my ingrown nail out though, which is oh, great. that's good. That feels chippy. We should just go and try and start it now. All right. over into our driveway. I don't know if I would take this on a road trip. Yeah. Want it on to Florida? I don't know if I even take it all the way to stop and shop. And you have a flat tire that's smoking. And there's a shovel. <laughs> Where'd the shovel come from? Did you no. put that there? No, I didn't put the shovel. <laughs> oh, this is to dig the grave for the pilot. That's what it's for. I couldn't tell if the e-brake was on or off because all the lights are on on the tack. Um. Dude, we burned some serious rubber today, huh? God. As you can see, this pilot has seen better days. Every light on the dash. So what have we got going on underneath this thing? Not too much rust on the frame. Right here you can see the end of the sway bar and there's no sway bar end link. So that is absolutely leading to our messed up alignment. The CV axle boot right here is very ripped. It was held on by a hose clamp as well as, I don't even know what that is on the other CV axle end. But hey, 500 bucks, this thing is a true gambler car. The owner said that one of the cats was all busted up. I have to fix this e-brake issue too. So the suspension stuff, not too bad. It just needs that sway bar end link and new CV axle. It'd probably be around $100 total. Other than that, I think the main issue with the engine and the misfire is probably just a, a sensory overload or a lack thereof to the ECU from the MAF or the O2 sensors. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Now it's not starting. I, all the power, the windows work, the windshield wipers work. I wonder if it's the starter. Because it hasn't been started in like a year. I don't know what this is. I think it goes to an old tent. It's not gonna be heavy enough. Alright, let's see. Right. I doubt that did anything. Yeah. Again. I can't take the key out. I can't take the key out of it. Oh, did you put it in park? Oh, shit. Did I? No, I no. didn't. There you go. You're a smarty. That's why I hired you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are we going to do with this guy? When's the gambler? I don't know. What is the gambler? I think this is going to make it No, Oregon. it's not going to make it to Oregon. <laughs> guys, if you want to do Oregon, you have till June 25th. What about the New York one? The Gambor Main. Is there really? Yeah. The last Gambor Main was August 7th of 2020. Okay. Well, at least we have a uh, tentative date. A tentative date. We're not getting to Oregon. 
Looks like we're right back where we started initially. Uh, there are just, there are so many things on this that need replacing. It's overwhelming, actually. But hey, at least we have a tentative date that we should get this fixed by. And contingency, August, the main Gambler 500. Let's get to researching and get to getting some parts for this thing. All right, so look out to the next episode of this where I try and make this work <laughs> better. Dude, this thing is, until then, take care now, bye-bye then. What if we see like the one kid in this aisle and he's holding the GTO Hot Wheels? Would you jump him? I'll give him $10 for it. <laughs>